Records in October 2013. Roof's a record label that I've always wanted to be on from the start. When I was younger, I used to listen to artists like Robin Trower, Walter Trout, Luther Allison, you know, who were all on Roof Records. So for me to be on Roof Records really means a lot. It was great to be able to go over to Louisiana and record at Dockside Studios. A lot of my heroes have also recorded there, such as BB King and Derek Trucks, and they had Grammy Award winning plaques up on the wall, so it was really inspiring to get into that kind of vibe and atmosphere. Um, it was a great room to record on, they had, they had five different rooms, rooms for amps, you know, room for vocal booths, everything, they had a new desk, so it was one of the best live desks you know, to record on, that's what we were going for, that live kind of feel. In the studio, I had Mike Zito producing my album. Mike was really great to work with. He was really inspiring and brought a lot of ideas to the table. You know, he helped me develop my songs further and gave me different ideas and taught me, you know, it's not all about just trying to play fast guitar licks as it was, it's a lot about feeling and I hope that comes across in the album. On the drums, we had Grammy Award winning Jan Rico Scott. Jan Rico was so enthusiastic and energetic to work with in the studio and such a fantastic drummer, really kept the bat beat going. Say hello to the camera. This is Jan Rico Scott. How y'all doing? Yeah. So good to be here. <laughs> Love. Uh, we had Charlie Wooten, who really kept the groove going throughout, especially seeing us. Yeah, most of it is live and we are a power trio. Hey, how you doing Charlie? Good to see you again. I brought a bass. Good. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> on harmonica we had Johnny Sandstone who came in and guested on a couple of tracks with me. Be back tonight. Of course. Excellent. Let me get you guys together one more time. Yeah, so we're just shooting a little video here. So maybe video. You say hi or something. All right. Mm -hmm. Ass kicking blues guitar player right here. Awesome. My, my ass is sore, he kicked it so hard. <laughs> <laughs> On the Hammond organ and keyboards, we had Lewis Stevens, who is fantastic and it really, you know, panned the songs out for us and added that little extra bit to it. will now attempt to play the end of solo. Check it out. belong to Luther Allison, just an amazing Gibson Les Paul gold top guitar and it sounds killer but weighs a ton. The songwriting process for this album is different in terms of, you know, it's a lot more guitar based. I wrote the songs on the guitar rather than the vocals like I did last time. 
So I started off, you know, with little guitar riffs that I would do, something like... <laughs> it from there so you know it means a lot to me this album as I didn't want to rush it you know I took my time on, on writing the songs I've been writing the songs for about two years while I was writing my last album as well so I was really careful what songs I put on so I think as an album this really brings to life what I am as an artist <laughs> That's the meaning of all this Yeah. You happy with the track on Rico? I'm very happy. I'm getting happier as it goes by. It was a great honour to have Walter Trout on my album. He's one of my heroes, so for that in itself is really cool. Walter, you said he wanted to play on my album. He also, we also just been on tour with him in uh, May and October 2013. Walter's really helped me along the way. He's a great mentor and such a, an amazing character. And a really good guitar player that I can relate to myself. He's a really big influence of mine and he's really taught me a lot. We're opening up tonight the great Mr. Lawrence Jones to come out here. Come on, Lawrence. Zito's idea to do the acoustic track. I've always wanted to do an acoustic track, but felt that, you know, it's something that I'm not comfortable with. So Mike Zito really pushed me to do this. He said, you know, try and get something that's really personal that you can relate to, in terms to, you know, you're getting down personal with the song, you know, it's just you and acoustic guitar. So I decided I wasn't actually going to put this song on the album, but I decided to put the song on the album Whisper in the Wind, as it was a... Uh, after my uncle who, who passed away. So from, I thought, you know, I could get that across in that personal kind of way. In 2014, I've got planned to go on the Blues Caravan Tour, which is a package that Roof Records put together. We'll be going around the whole of Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Norway. It's going to be a great experience. We're starting on the 20th of January, all the way through to March. So come out, it'll be great to see you at a show. Oh, my God. 